Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Baiju's Exam Prep. My name is Alpa Sharma, and this is our weekly editorial analysis, usually from Aeon and multiple other sources. And we try to discuss many articles with a perspective of understanding reading comprehensions even better. If you could quickly confirm that I'm clearly audible and visible, we shall uh, start off with our session. I hope everything is clearly audible and visible to all of you. There are no glitches. Yeah. So what are we going to do in the class today? Let's have a look at that. So every week I meet you once and I bring different articles from different sources. We read that article thoroughly. We try to analyze what are the inferences that can be drawn. What is the main idea? What is the tone of the author? How to read an article efficiently so that you're able to retain the information in the passage. You're able to draw inferences and mark the answers correctly in the actual examination. So that's what the target of the examination of the session is. Now, that's what the agenda is. We will look at one article from uh, various editorials. Today's article is from the Aeon. A very interesting article. Of course, Aeon articles are pretty long. So I've tried to make it compact. But the main idea remains intact. Okay. So a article hai Aeon se was discussed karenge. Usme se vocabulary hai, bohat sari hai words jo hum contextually derive karne ki koshish karenge. So for example, if there's a word that comes up in the actual examination and you're not sure of the meaning of the word, it should not be a speed breaker for you. So kaise contextually uska meaning nikalte hain, ye koshish karenge samajhne ki. Apart from that, we will uh, understand the tone of the author. Tone of the author ke direct questions bahut frequently nahi bhi aayenge. To bhi aapke liye tone of the author understand karna is very very important because this will help you answer many other questions like attitude of the author, like the main idea of the passage and many other questions, inference as well. It will help you. So we'll be discussing the tone as well as the summary of the article and we'll draw many inferences from the article that I'm going to show you. I'll show you exactly inference draw kaise karte hain. So, which uh, lines you have to pay attention to, which lines you can skip, kar sakte ho, skim, kar sakte ho, omit, kar sakte ho, speed is faster, we apply all the things that we apply to that article that we will read today. So, without any delay, jaldi se dekh lete hai, uh, the first page of the article. So, this is page hai, but before I actually ask you to read this page, a question is asked to you, okay? So that a uh, interaction will happen with me and me because now there is no good morning in my life. Finally, Zaid has come. Hi, Zaid. Very good morning. Zaid, tell me one thing. And everyone else who is watching me live. Do you like dogs? I am sure many people will say yes, ma'am. So, uh, dogs, like I have given you, for example, a uh, pug. So, when pug ko dekhte hi, hi, Sanket. Pug ko dekhte hi, ya pug imagine karte hi, is there something that comes to your mind apart from word of one as well? Is there anything else that comes to your mind? Hi Amrit, hi Disha, hi Sankirtana, good morning. And ya khali dekh rahe te, mujhe pata hi nahi meri, if I'm clearly audible or visible. Chalo, pug imagine karte ho to, kaisa lagta hai wo dog aapko, aggressive lagta hai, cute lagta hai, or lazy lagta hai, kaisa lagta hai aapko wo dog? Pug imagine karte ho to. या फिर पिटबुल इमेजिन करते हो तो कोई एक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक एसोसिएट कर सकते हो पिटबुल के साथ या जर्मन शेफर्ड जर्मन शेफ नॉर्मल जर्मन जर्मन शेफर्ड वुड वे एज मच एज आई डू तो डिफरेंट डॉग्स को हम कुछ डिफरेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स के साथ एसोसिएट करते हैं दैट इट फॉलोस वेयरएवर यू गो गुड वेरी गुड आई लाइक योर क्रिएटिविटी संकेत तो यू नो जितने एग्जांपल्स मैंने आपको दिए डिफरेंट डॉग्स के सब डॉग्स के साथ आप कुछ ना कुछ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक एसोसिएट कर सकते हो अब ये तो एक लेमैन मैंने आपको एक्सप्लेनेशन दिया पैसेज किस चीज की बात करेगा बट द पैसेज इज नॉट एज सिंपल एज इट लुक्स सो आपको बहुत सारी चीजें यहां इन्फर करनी पड़ेंगी इन्फर कैसे करेंगे ये हमको सीखना है सो आई विल बी शेयरिंग द आर्टिकल विथ यू इन द बैकग्राउंड आर्टिकल देखो और मुझे बताओ इस पेज में which line is the author's argument? जो हमको पढ़ना बहुत जरूरी है। पढ़ो पेज and send me a done.
इट कुड बी अ लाइन दैट कुड बी दर्ग्यूमेंट इट कुड बी ए पैराग्राफ इज वेल ध्यान से पढ़ के बताओ Which paragraph, which line do you think is the argument made by the author? The third paragraph, because वो बट के बाद follow करता है as well as I think the last line given to us in the second paragraph. I'll show you which line am I referring to. This is the one. So देखो समझते हैं पेज किस चीज की बात कर रहा है जब भी आप एक पैसेज पढ़ो ऑलवेज रिमेंबर द फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ प्लेज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन इंट्रोड्यूसिंग यू टू द मेन आइडिया ऑलवेज बी वेरी केयरफुल विद द फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ पढ़ते आपको समझ में आ जाएगा कि ये पैसेज किस चीज के बारे में एंड वेन यू लुक एट द फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ एक सिंपल क्वेश्चन इज वेरी लाइकली टू स्टेम आउट ऑफ द फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ जो आपको यूजली मिलेगा आप क्वेश्चन पढ़ते ही सुनते ही आपको समझ में आ जाएगा कि हाँ मैम ऐसे क्वेश्चन मैंने बहुत देखे हैं ना क्या क्वेश्चन की मैं बात कर रही हूं द फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ गिव्स यू द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ वर्ल्ड डिस्ट मूवी और वो मूवी का एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ में ही खत्म हो जाता है द सेकेंड एंड द थर्ड पैराग्राफ टॉक द टॉक अबाउट ह्यूम एंड डॉग्स बट ये मूवी का रेफरेंस सिर्फ फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ में था और वहीं खत्म हो जाता है सो वेरी लाइकली अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस सॉर्ट कैन स्टेम आउट ऑफ द फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ वट इज द पर्पज ऑफ गिविंग यू दिस एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड डिजनी एनिमेटेड मूवी लेडी एंड द ट्रैम्प ऐसा क्वेश्चन बहुत लाइकली आ सकता है तो क्वेश्चन है वट इज द पर्पज ऑफ गिविंग यू दिस एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द मूवी द लेडी एंड द ट्रैम्प आंसर क्या होगा इसका लेडी इन द ट्रैम्प क्या रीजन है आई एम अ लिटिल अनवेल गाइड सो यूल हैव टू बेयर विथ मी वाई इज दिस एग्जाम्पल गिविन क्या आंसर मार्क करोगे कौन सा ऑप्शन मार्क करोगे लेडी इन द ट्रैम्प क्यों एग्जाम्पल दिया है anyone why is this example given to introduce the idea of high class and low class that we see in dogs with relationship to humans second paragraph usko explain kar raha hai or this example can be used as an introductory idea to draw an analogy between the movie and the discrimination you see to the real life scenario yes would you guys agree with all the explanations क्यों एग्जाम्पल दिया या आया सबको समझ में ऐसी एनालॉजी के क्वेश्चंस बहुत फ्रीक्वेंटली आते हैं यस ऑफ कोर्स इट्स अ प्रेमिस फॉर ऑथर्स आर्ग्यूमेंट दिस इज एन एग्जाम्पल टू सपोर्ट द ऑथर्स आर्ग्यूमेंट एब्सोल्यूटली करेक्ट अमृत ओके सो ये जो मूवी है थोड़ा सा समझते हैं इस मूवी का रेफरेंस क्यों दिया हुआ है ठीक है सो मूवी का रेफरेंस है ये बताने के लिए कि ये यूजुअल बॉलीवुड टाइप स्टोरी है जो 90s में हमने कहानी हम देखते थे नॉट दीज डेज बट ऐसी हम बॉलीवुड स्टोरीज हॉलीवुड स्टोरीज या बच्चों की हम जो सिंड्रेला uh, टाइप स्टोरीज देखते हैं उनमें ना बहुत बहुत फ्रीक्वेंट ऐसे एग्जांपल्स कि एक रिच है एक पुअर है दे फॉल इन लव विथ ईच अदर जो होना नहीं चाहिए एंड देन दिस रिवोल्ट अब ये मूवी ऑफकोर्स इट्स अबाउट डॉग्स बट इट्स नॉट एक्चुअली अबाउट डॉग्स डॉग्स आर ओनली अ रेप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ a classic human tale they are representatives rather wo batane ke liye ki kaise hum differentiate karte hain high aur low ke beech mein hamari human society mein aur shayad ye jo pure bred aur pedigree examples hain jo hum dogs mein dekhte hain dogs ki humne jo lineage bana di hai categorization bana diya hai breeds bana diya hai so it's basically a denotion can you can i infer here through the second paragraph it's basically a denotion of the discrimination we see in our society ye pure bred hai ye pedigree hai hum aryan race hai hum pure aryan race hai. people are very uh, enthusiastic about calling themselves one they are very proud of themselves and that's why intercaste marriages were so few earlier good 100 years back because they wanted to keep their own class pure pure bred pedigree ek tarike se mixture sa ho gaya 
ओके तो अब बेसिकली द इंटायर सिचुएशन एक्सप्लेन की कैसे प्योर ब्रेड फॉर एग्जाम्पल किंग के लीनियत से आ रहे हैं हम हमारे एंसेस्टर्स किंग थे आपको अगर मैं चॉइस दूंगी एक uh, कि अगर आपको पता लगे कि आपके ग्रेट ग्रेट ग्रैंड फादर एक किंग थे आई एम श्योर यू वुड बी रियली हैप्पी अबाउट दैट और अगर आपको चॉइस दिया जाए एक डॉग चूज करने का आई एम श्योर यू वुड लाइक टू चूज सम डॉग दैट प्योर ब्रेड इंस्टेड ऑफ अ हाइब्रिड वन दैट इज एग्जैक्टली वट इज डिनोटेड through the story here our preferences of dogs it denotes our preferences of the lineage of the caste system of the differentiation between high and low in our society that's what this page recommends this article is from aeon fyi everyone who joined me late next page padte hain chalo page number 2 read this and send me a done so uh, the place where i'm taking my class from is uh, pretty near to a road and that's why you might hear some noise in the background i i hope you would excuse that इस पूरे पेज में कोई भी आर्ग्यूमेंट है ऑथर का ये प्रेमिस है डू यू सी एनी आर्ग्यूमेंट मेड बाय द ऑथर इन द इंटायर पेज और इट्स फुल ऑफ प्रेमिस थिंक केयरफुल एन आंसर डू यू सी एन आर्ग्यूमेंट इन द पेज और इट्स फुल ऑफ प्रेमिस I'll wait for your answers. The entire page is full of premise, explaining the features of dogs because of the breed we choose, select, and how they appear according to the kind of work they do. उनके work के साथ association करके explanation है. It's a furthermore explanation of the penultimate page. जो प्रीवियस पेज में हमने आर्ग्यूमेंट देखा ये उसी का एक्सप्लेनेशन है दिस नथिंग वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन दिस पेज टू रीड यू शुड हैव स्किम्ड थ्रू दिस पेज दिस नथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दिस पेज कैन ओनली लीड टू अ फैक्चुअल क्वेश्चन लाइक फ्लॉपी इयर्स के बारे में या फिर uh, किसी स्पेसिफिक ब्रीड uh, के बारे में यू कैन ऑलवेज कम बैक रिकन्फर्म द आंसर एंड गो एंड मार्केट अदरवाइज इस पेज में कुछ भी इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है नेक्स्ट पेज पे चलते हैं चलो Here you go. Page number three. ध्यान से पढ़ो सेंड मी एन डन ओके okay, चलो सबसे पहला क्वेश्चन वाई डिड वी गेट सो ऑब्सेस्ड विद डॉग्स एंड नो अदर एनिमल 
can I say this paragraph gives us reasons for that? People started getting more money. Dog unke liye easy, accommodative animals they uh, accommodative in the sense they would match our taste, they would match our lifestyle, they would love us, show affection to us. Or hum kiss uh, uh, breed ka dog lenge, wo sab kuch ye jo new money aane laga tha na logo ke pas, to unke liye ek standard ho gaya ki dog hume rakhna hai. और डॉग भी हम जिस ब्रीड का रखेंगे वो हमारा स्टैंडर्ड रिप्रेजेंट करेगा तो इसलिए लोगों का ऑब्सेशन हो गया स्पेसिफिक ब्रीड्स के साथ स्पेसिफिक और फिर वो और लेट जाने लगे डीएनए टेस्ट करवाने लगे कि ये जिस डॉग का जिस ब्रीड का डीएनए सबसे ओल्डेस्ट होगा वो एंशियंट लीनियज के साथ आएगा इट्स लाइक एक्वायरिंग एंटीक फ्रॉम द मार्केट आप एक फ्रेश पीस खरीदो और एक एंटीक खरीदो ज्यादा वैल्यू किसकी होगी एंटीक की होगी इवन If it is old, it comes with a brand of being antique, royal, scarce. Jitna scarce, utni pricing high. Market me jaoge diamonds kharidne ke liye. If you have ample of money, which is one, the one that you would like to buy, you would like to buy something that's rare, that's the best in the category, like a flawless diamond. बट एक डायमंड होगा जिसका कलर थोड़ा डार्कर होगा क्योंकि उसमें इंप्योरिटीज है तो उसकी रेट भी कम होने वाली है और उसकी डिमांड भी कम होने वाली है सो दैट्स एग्जैक्टली व्हाट वी सॉ हियर है ना डॉग्स के ब्रीड का सिलेक्शन आपके लाइफ के स्टैंडर्ड को रिप्रेजेंट करने लग गया और फिर एस्थेटिक वैल्यू आ गई डॉग्स में फैशन जैसे आप इफ नाउ सी सिंपल एग्जाम्पल फैशनेबल एस्थेटिक एग्जाम्पल देती हूँ आपको वेन यू लुक एट दट काइंड ऑफ डॉग्स द सेलिब्रिटीज हैव They carry those dogs with them, like the tiny ones, like Chihuahua types. So, up hand me, rakh loge. Even if they bark, you would have a laugh at their bark because with na pretty la, unka bark hota hai. And unusual dogs, jo apko nahi dekhne ko milenge. Beautiful ones like Pug, so cute you would want to pull their cheeks. These were the result of fashionable aesthetics that were visible in dogs. So, apart from the status representation the dogs could give you it might not be uh, visible but am i audible everyone could you please quickly confirm that i'm audible there's a power cut but i shall still continue with the session i want you to read this article so i'll okay thank you so much everyone i'll put my camera on uh, hide for some time till the power comes back and i'll still continue teaching like this okay so uh, i've connected my laptop uh, to the mobile network so that should work for us theek hai so fashionable aesthetic we have already discussed jaldi se next page padhte hain chalo theek hai aur uh, neoteny word pichle paragraph mein likha hua tha there's a description here read this whole page and send me it on everyone You see the last paragraph here. I gave you examples of how uh, celebrities would carry dogs, the kind of dogs they have. That's visible here. Send me done once you're done. अच्छा इस पेज से चलो मुझे बताओ कैन आई इन्फर डॉग्स आर एबल टू ट्रिगर अ रिएक्शन इन आवर माइंड्स दैट रिप्रेजेंट्स दैट द डॉग्स आर प्रिटी मच लाइक आर ओन चिल्ड्रन वी केटर टू देम वी चूज अ ब्रीड वी चूज डॉग्स बिकॉज दे रिप्रेजेंट और हैव अ स्टैंडिंग इन द फैमिली इक्वल इन टू द चिल्ड्रन ऑफ द फैमिली With the example, देखो बेला और जैक का जो एग्जाम्पल यहां दिया हुआ है कैन आई से इट्स अ रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द फैक्ट दट 
now they have actually become your family member. Can I say that? Choosing neoteny characteristics in animals because we find them cute. Naming them like your own children. Pehle name kya hote the? Karthik, yes they are. Absolutely, I can draw this inference here. These names, pehle naam alag hote the dogs ke, right? These days you name as if you, they're your own children, your own siblings. Aap us tarike se unko rakhte ho. Their eating habit is pretty much closer to your eating habit. Their lifestyle is pretty much sim similar to your lifestyle, right? So, they are more like a family now. And that also will determine the breed that you choose. Because the one that you can mostly associate with, wo aivasa ab breed choose karo ke, jo aapki personality ko denote kare, aapko aur richer dikhaye, aise preferences aane lag gaye. Now, this entire example of Lady Gaga's dogs represents the aesthetics we had discussed in the previous page. Chalo, next page mein chalte hai. Here we go. Read the next page, everyone. And send me a done. See, we've been discussing this line for so long that it signals our class, our preferences, our personality. Okay, so imagine a, a Bollywood actor who is a pretty hunk kind of a, an actor. You wouldn't imagine a chihuahua in that hunky uh, kind of the actor, right? Because it doesn't represent his personality. He might choose for a bulldog or any other stronger one. Okay? So, it represents their preferences, their personality and their choice, their class as well. And usi according, log choose karte hai pets. Continue with the page, everyone. Can I say the last paragraph here correlates to how close a dog has become to us as a family member? It's very accommodative. Uska name is pretty similar to our children's name. It eats what we eat. Hum vegan khayenge to wo bhi vegan. Imagine dogs vegan. Dogs were not born to be vegans, right? At least uh, mostly carnivore. They would love chicken. Yet, because uh, their master's ki diet is vegan, hai, they would opt for vegan food. Sometimes, you know, if I give you reference of a, a pet I used to have, the pet used to eat papad. Because I am a Rajasthani and we love papad. And the dog that I had loved eating papad. So, you could see the correlation. Pretty accommodative as a pet. So, we consider them to be a part of our own family here. So, this is a correlation to the previous page. Done everyone with this page? Just send me a done if you are done. And if you do not have any more doubts. Done. Let's go with the next page everyone. This looks like the last page to me. No, we have two more pages. Here you go. Read this one. Why this is such a funny example actually. You see the funny part here. Hum a reason or why we love the dog so much because of the cost associated ki bhai maine tumme invest kiya hai i have purchased you with a humongous amount i get you pet food pet toys pet clothing which is so expensive you are very dear to me so apart from being very accommodative and a representation of class dogs also are very dear to people because of the cost that's associated with the animals 
अब मेरे पास एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन है द क्वेश्चन इज इस पूरे पेज में वट इज द टोन ऑफ दी ऑथर प्लीज लुक एट इट वेरी केयरफुल एन आंसर एवरी वन हुज ट्राइंग टू वॉच मी राइट नाउ दिस अ पावर कट सो माई वीडियो इज ऑन ऑफ बट यू आई एम श्योर कैन हियर मी माई क्वेश्चन इज वट इज द टोन ऑफ दी ऑथर इन द लास्ट पैराग्राफ बताइए टोन थोड़ा सा ट्रिकी है ध्यान से पढ़ोगे यूल गेट इट इफ यू बीन अ रीडर यू फॉर श्योर विल गेट इट दिशा से सार्कैस्टिक अदर्स एनी वन एल्स आई हैिक्सटीन पीपल वॉचिंग यू वट डू थिंक इज द टोन हियर लास्ट The author says for babies आपने नाम दे दिया अपने डॉग्स को बट ये जो टर्म है ये क्रिंज वर्दी है दी ऑथर क्रिंज विद दिस टर्म ही इज नॉट वेरी हैप्पी एंड देन ही गोज ऑन टू मेक फन ऑफ योर रिलेशनशिप विथ योर डॉग सिंग डॉग का डॉग हाउस होता था ना यार्ड में ऐसे ही डॉग्स बड़े होते थे बट अब उसका एक बेड है आपके लिविंग रूम में तो It's actually absolutely correct, Disha. The tone is sarcastic. Yes, Karthik, it is sarcastic. Amrit, contemptuous, to hai, but he is making fun as well. This last line, na, ki bhai dogs to yard me grow kar. Uh, they used to grow up in the yard. Grow nahi karte the. They used to grow up in the yard, but now he has a bed in your own bedroom on Charlie Brown's pillow. It's sarcasm. He's making fun. By criticism as well. So contemptuous is only criticism. He is taking contempt with a tinge of fun, and that's exactly why the tone here is sarcasm. Okay. Let's look at the last paragraph, everyone. Let me confirm. Yes, that's the last paragraph. Now read this and see if we have a closure to the story here. Barthesian. Uh, you can assume this phrase to be philosophy. In a Now, do you see the closure here? Let's first discuss the line, the signifier and the signified. Because of the relationship we have with the dogs, of because of the reason why we buy dogs, multiple reasons quoted throughout the passage. The dogs can be signifier and signified as well, and according to the breed that you choose. Is liye bhi dogs ko. Signifier or signified bola hai, and there's another important line that's in the brackets. We have humanized them. वो हमारे घर में रहते हैं, हमने उनको हमारे बच्चों जैसा नाम दे दिया, हमारा जैसा food खाते हैं, लेकिन फिर भी वो हमारे लिए objects हैं. Why objects? Anyone answer this question? Would they have? We have humanized them, but yet we use them as objects. क्यों? क्यों बोला है object यहाँ dogs को? Yet, why do we use them as objects? So what is the implication here? Who's going to answer this? Humanize मैंने आपको समझा दिया that they eat what we eat, they sleep in the same bedroom as we do, we have named them as our own children, yet they are objects. Why objects? Do all relationship discussed what they represent to us and how they represent us? Absolutely. And because how they represent us is an important factor being discussed in the passage amrit that's why they are used as objects they represent our class to jo main diamonds banungi it might represent my class wo object hi to hai mere liye agar dog bhi mera class represent karte hain to wo bhi mere liye ek object hi hai to humanize to humne unko kar liya because of the attachment we have with them but maine choose kaun si breed kari jo mere personality ko suit kare jo mere class ko suit kare i'm treating the dog as an object here so that's the closure given to us in the passage the summary is going to be supremely easy the tone might be a little tricky can you come up with answers everyone what do you think is the tone of the author here 
What do you think is the tone here, everyone? Anyone, what do you think is the tone? Anybody? Is it argumentative? Is it discursive? Is it analytical? Let me write these tones for you. Analytical, discursive, argumentative. What is the tone? Cynical nahi hoga disha. Cynical hota har cheez pe doubt karna. Disha mujhe harm karegi. Nihar bhi mujhe harm karega. Amrit bhi mujhe harm karegi. Mujhe sab cheezo pe doubt hota na jab. Wo hota hai cynical. Distrust on everybody around is cynical. No, aisa nahi hai. Thik hai? Discursive can be an appropriate one. Yes. From my side, it's discursive. Kyunki sirf uh, criticism nahi diya hotho na yaha. Dhyan se dekho Nihar. Uh, he has given some criticism, but then he has also analyzed a few things. So, it's a combination of touching upon various perspectives of why and how would dogs be chosen and their representation and their linking to our lives as humanized and objects. Bohat sari cheeze discuss hui hai, right? So, easily discursive would be a better tone. Critical partly true hoga, Nihar and Disha. So, I hope you understand that, okay? Now, guys, that is going to be all for today. But then, there are a few things I'd like to tell you. We have our All India Open Mock and Mat uh, going on right now. That ends 22nd of October. That is tomorrow. No, day after tomorrow. So, if you still haven't given this mock, make sure you do this before the actual examination happens. And uh, our comprehensive program for CAT 2023 is launched. So, if you're targeting CAT 23, be the one who starts earlier than others so that you prepare well. Here, here is a program. You can enroll for this uh, by finding the details under my video in the description box. Also, we have our test series that we have launched, which has 70 plus mock tests, which have been prepared by Serial 100 percentilers, 99 percentilers. So, it's pretty close to what you have subscribed to the channel if you still aren't attending it. And uh, make sure you do not leave the class without liking the video, commenting under the video if you think it is helping you. Uh, see you very, very soon, everyone. Next. Thursday, till then work very hard and make sure you follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Telegram and download our app on Google Play. Please like the video if you think it has been beneficial for you. I'm so sorry for the power cut. That is something beyond my control. Uh, thank you so much everyone. Work really hard. Read a lot. God bless you.